Okay, so we're going to go over uh, four formations for doubles. We're going to go over offsetting. We're going to go over Australian I formation, and then we're going to do a, a formation called switch that most people don't know is legal. Okay, so let's have these guys be the serving team. Now we're not going. We'll play a couple points here in a second, but for now I just want to show you the formations. So uh, Jake, why don't you stand like you're serving on the do side? Wayne, you're his partner. Partner the server. Bryce, you're the returner. Alec is partner of the returner. Now the first formation I want to go over is Australian and when I think you, you, you should use this formation. So actually let's go the other way because you'd want to use it against Alec. So why don't you guys switch like you're on the ad side, serving on the ad side, returning from the ad side. Okay so Australian, Wayne's going to stand about right here. So Wayne stand here. Okay Jake, you're going to stand closer to the center tee like you're serving singles. Okay right there. Now here's what happens in this formation. Now a lot of this is knowing being able to spot fundamental flaws in your opponent's strokes. So if your opponent gets grooved and they don't have a great swing and they get grooved and they know what's coming and the same thing happens every time, they can do good with a bad swing. But if you can spot, for example, Oscar's not here today, but Oscar had, not anymore, he fixed it, he had an issue where his racket opened, fell on edge on his forehand and he had to make a flip in the hit, so it required timing. So he does fine when there's no pressure and no direction changes, but if you attack it in a certain way, the timing that was required was required on his forehand, you could get errors out of. So let's say Alec, Alec's backhand's not perfect. Even if it is perfect, this is a good drill. So what Wayne gets to do in this Australian formation is, sorry, Jake. Jake gets to serve out wide to Alec's backhand. Alec, since Wayne's here, now Wayne doesn't have to stay, stay here. He could still poach back to the middle. Alec has to take a backhand coming in from this angle, change the direction of the ball so it's a reflective angle, it doesn't come straight off your racket, it, it reflects. So the player has to account for that, that's why they'll miss wide along down the line. He has to hit it over the higher part of the net where the court's shorter than it is uh, cross court, where the net's lower and court's longer cross court, he has to hit it over the higher part of the net down the line to a shorter court. And also, Jake Typically a forehand is much stronger, once that happens, if Alec does successfully make the return, Jake gets to run over and hit his strong forehand to start the point. So this would be a great situation where you'd want to use Australian. If you can make him change direction to the weaker side, set up your stronger side, maybe get an error. Now again, Wayne could totally still poach, in fact I would think Wayne would still want to throw in a poach and a fake or whatnot. Okay, now let's go to eye formation. So Wayne, time to get low. Bryce, you're returning. Alec, you're up. Jake, you're standing in uh, center, of the center singles, like you're serving singles. All right, now Wayne's got to tell him which direction he's going. So he's going to the right or he's going to the left. Um, typically we could do service where, where the serve wants to go, but you guys need to just, we won't worry about that right now. This formation has no other purpose other than to mess with your opponents to mess with your opponents. If they're grooving cross-court returns, jump up, wave your arms around and go to the right. Sometimes jump up, wave your arms around and go to the left. That's it. If they're returning well, not too well. We'll go over if they're returning really well, then you'd want to do something else which is called offsetting. And let's do that now. Okay, so, Wayne, you're serving. Bryce is returning. So your standard, standard doubles formation. Wayne has a good enough first serve, good enough first serve where he could either hit it and serve in volley or hit it and stay back. Wayne's second serve against Bryce's very strong return in my mind is a case where you'd want to offset. So Jake, you're going to go back here with Wayne. And I watched these guys play a couple stronger players down at Mount Akea, there's JJ and someone else and Wayne serving and volleying second serve against JJ's return and I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's an instance where you'd want to offset. Now they're still going to look for their first opportunity to get to the net, the first short ball they can. They're, Bryce is probably going to return and run in so they'll have to throw up lobs, they'll have to drive to the middle, they'll do whatever it takes to regain control of the net. But this just is what it is. It's a, uh, it's called offsetting. Okay now it gets a little dangerous so don't be afraid to offset. Uh, at first, your first uh, decision is to just not serve in volley, come in behind the first return ball. 
But if Bryce is just killing the guy at the net, or Alec is poaching on the, on the return of the return and killing the guy at the net, if you're getting tattooed up at the net, then that means you're, you're starting the point off bad and you're not having the advantage and you need to offset like this. There's nothing wrong with offsetting. Brian Brothers do it all the time against strong returners or strong servers actually, even more so. Okay, now, Jake, let's go Bryce. Bryce, you're serving. Alec, your partner of the server. Wayne's, uh, Wayne's returning. Jake, you're up at the net. These guys like to have Jake on the deuce side. I like Wayne on the deuce side. I think Wayne returns a little stronger than Jake, but... Um, okay, this is called switch. Now here's where it gets a little confusing. This is perfectly legal. What Bryce is going to do, Bryce is going to bounce the ball. And before he starts his motion to serve, he's going to yell out switch. And Alec is going to run over into Australian formation. Now you got to make sure you run quick, Alec, otherwise you're going to get hit in the back of the head, right? Now, Alec still gives a call, poaching or not. They can switch and Alec can come back after the serve. That would be a poach. They could switch and Alec could stay after the serve. And again, no other purpose other than to mess with your opponent, get him out of their groove, get him into the back of their brain, and make him try to miss. Okay, so let's play a few points. Let's see what happens. We're going to try all of our formations in the scenarios I like. So. Alec, ret uh, Alec returning, Jake serving, Wayne Australian. So we're going to go out wide to Alec's backhand. Alec's going to have to try to change the direction of the ball down the line. And, and worst case scenario, Jake gets a big forehand. All right, here we go. Play some points like this. Okay, so we got an error. Try again. Here we go, Alec. Make the return. That's the best case scenario. He goes back cross court to Wayne, which he's been practicing all year. So of course he's going to go back cross court. Okay, next scenario. Bryce, you're returning. Wayne, you're serving. Wayne, you only get one serve. If you miss this, you lose the point. Wayne, second serve. Bryce has a huge return. Jake, back up. This is offsetting. Bryce, you're coming in after. You guys got to do what you can to regain control of the net. Good, and that's okay, and I like it. You snuck back in as soon as you saw that you weren't going to get killed. Actually, that was a little dangerous, Jake, because Alec had that volley. He could have crushed it at you. You might want to wait a little more. Okay. Bryce to serve. Wayne returning. Alec, eye formation. So, Bryce, you're going to serve like you're serving singles. Alec, you're going to tell him if you're going this way or if you're going to the left that way. And you got to give an auditory confirmation, Bryce. Go ahead. Or you could just serve an ace and that would end it very quickly just like that. Okay, Wayne's serving pretty strong. Wayne's serving pretty strong. So now, but look, here's the thing. You don't have that much fun with formations unless uh, uh, if it's a second serve, if Bryce misses his first serve, because normally Bryce goes a little bigger than that on his first serve. If he misses his first serve, you just go right back into normal formation. Okay? All right, let's do the last one. Let's do the last one. Alec to serve. Don't hit Bryce in the head. Bryce, you're up. It's going to be the switch. It's going to be the switch. You're up here, Jake. You don't know it's coming. Before you start your motion. So you can do your bounce. You can do your prepare. Before you toss and go on your motion, you yell switch. Okay, and see that's why it's important that we start these formations in practice because it has you thinking and you're going to start missing serves because new things are happening. But if you do it enough in practice, if you do it enough in practice, it'll be like no big deal when you go actually play. Guys, listen, I can't tell you, I can't express the importance enough of switching these formations up. There's a big gap between Wayne's serve, first serve, and his second serve. And that's okay. We're going to fix it. He's going to fix it this summer. He's going to come back stronger than ever. So very easily, Jake could be up. Jake could be up for his first serve, and then he misses his first serve. Just run back and offset if you're playing a strong returner. He, he, it's very easy to go from the advantage of a first serve to being at a disadvantage on the second serve, and that's okay.